Hey everybody, it's Mike here again, and uh, today I'm back with another review for you guys. And it's not a car this time, it's the big F250 Power Stroke Diesel from Ford. It's the 2016 model. So let's get right to it and check it out here. This 2016 F250 comes in the color shadow black it's a new color from Ford it really does it justice um, on this camera here but what we're gonna do is check this truck out exterior wise and take a look at the interior and some of the specs start it up and just do a full tour of this truck here it is a Lariat trim level, meaning it's one of the top of the line trims for the Ford lineup in general. This is the Power Stroke Diesel 6.7 liter with class exclusive <clears throat> horsepower as well as torque. It is a crew cab, as you can see here, with the eight foot bed. Put with a uh, drop in bed liner. Towing capacity for this F 250 is 14,000 pounds. <clears throat> if equipped with a fifth wheel, you can tow 16,200 pounds while in four wheel drive and 16,800 pounds in two wheel drive. Comes with a 37.5 gallon fuel tank. It's just a gorgeous truck. It's a beast. Being a Lariat though, it's more than just a work truck. You can use it for those purposes. But as you will see here, soon as we step into the truck, it has all the amenities of a luxury vehicle as well. As we walk around here, see the 20 inch wheels on this Lariat truck. 275 65 Michelin tires heavy-duty springs of course being a heavy-duty work truck big massive grill super duty all across the front of this truck. Take a quick look at the sticker here. As we mentioned 2016 F250, 6.7 liter power stroke diesel. Interior or exterior is shadow black with the Adobe leather interior. See, to get the 6.7 liter Power Stroke Diesel, it is an $8,400 option. It's not cheap, but it serves its purpose. That's why you can charge that kind of money for it. Interesting to see they only has 355 gears on this truck here. I would have thought it would be 373 or 410 maybe. $63,605. Chrome step running boards. Dual exhaust. This truck is equipped with remote start. So taking a look at the key fob here, you have your lock, unlock, panic button and remote start. So while we're at it here, 
start the truck up by clicking once on the lock button and double clicking. Turn it off once by clicking there. Spare sitting underneath the bed, equipped with backup sensors, obviously, backup camera. There's your hitch right there. This specific one does not come with the tailgate step. So what we're going to do here is transition inside the truck here. Taking a look at the engine bay here for the F-250. I popped the hood already, but it's very simple. So use this little lever right here, get in there, and then as we take a look at it here, this is the class leading diesel engine with 440 horsepower and 860 pound feet of torque. A nice little light here if you're having to work on the engine in the dark, it's always a nice little feature right there. But let me tell you, this is a big big truck big engine bay I'm six foot two I have to reach to be able to get this down see the big turbo batteries placed right there Very nice. So let's get inside. Stepping inside the uh, F-250 here, you see it has the Adobe leather interior. Very nice, extreme big plush seats. And as many times when I do my reviews, I'm amazed by how dirty a brand new truck can be that just came from the factory. So one downside with having light leather interior, I assume. You have your power folding mirrors, memory seats right here, um, you have automatic windows down and up for the drivers and passengers. The rear is not automatic. Just your lock-in of the doors right there. You have your cup holders here. Or not cup holders, but cubbies for tools and things like that. Power seat power lumbar you have automatic pedals automatic lights pull out to get the fog lights interior dimming Very nice, comfortable, big seats, perforated, perforated leather, heated and cooled. So let's start her up here.
lariat trim level of the F-250 comes with all the luxury amenities of uh, an F-150 as well, although this is a big work truck. Starting off with the steering wheel here. Although it has all the technical features on it, it still does not feel cluttered with tons of buttons. Uh, you basically have your uh, instrument cluster middle screen right here, which is controlled by the buttons on the left side of the steering wheel, where you have your fuel economy. Uh, this truck has 14.8 miles, 48.6 miles on it, and is averaging 15.4 currently. You have your truck apps. Let's see here. Fuel economy. You have a cutoff screen there for trip timer. Uh, gallons used, trip meter, and average miles per gallon. Different gauge modes. Your compass. Information. My key and system check. Oil life. All the information and settings that you might need for your F-250. Turbo, PSI meter, temperature, oil temperature, and your fuel gauge. Obviously, you have your cruise control right here. Windshield wipers turn on turning this switch right here as we mentioned it's a six six speed select shift transmission with manual mode as well as tow haul mode by clicking this button down right here you have your shift on the fly right here two high four high and four low pull it out for the locking rear diff Put the truck in reverse, displays the backup camera on the 8 inch touchscreen. Guidance lines. And right now I don't have a trailer available here, but um, it comes available with dynamic hitch control as well. Black little line there, enabling you to back it up to your trailer safely and in a simple manner. Traction control button right there. I like the interior of, of the F-250 with you know, the air vents and everything here. Just a very stylish design, I like it. With the Super Duty logo across the dash there on the passenger side. And you have the My4 Touch infotainment system that I have a separate video going through um, exactly what you can do. Uh, it's basically a tutorial that'll be, it's a link popping up on your screen right now if you want to check that infotainment system out. Uh, Sync 3, the upgrade for the My4 Touch infotainment system is coming out as well. I'm not quite sure exactly when it will be available for the Super Duties. But that is coming. I also. mentioned that there's heated and cooled seats as an option on this Lariat trim level. Single disc CD player. More cup holders right there. You even have a cubby down here. Parking brake right there. Going down to the panel below the touchscreen here. Basically, have your volume controls tuned. All kids 14 and under. Very self explanatory features, easy to navigate. The trailer brake control here. 
and also it is prepped for uh, other features as well. It has the uh, roof lights already. And this is if you want to add certain trailers and other things like that. You have an AC outlet right here. Volt right there. It's equipped with Bluetooth powered by sync. So you can sync your phone. Everything is voice activated as well. It has the big stereo system, 390 watts. Please say a command. Sirius Frank Sinatra. Turning to Frank Sinatra. Very nice stereo system. Somehow this stereo system sounds better in the F-250s than it does in any other vehicle. I, I don't really know why. It's the same watts, same power. Um, so, <laughs> but somehow every time I get in a Super Duty that you want to listen to the stereo because it's so good. All right, we're going to check out the uh, folding mirrors here. This isn't really folding, it's folding features right here. You pull it towards you. As we mentioned, you have your memory seatings there. Cup holders right here. Cubbies right here for anything that you might need, tools or anything like that. Fold the seat up. Third row seating, of course. Fold the seat cushion up. More cubbies. down here again power sliding rear window sunglass holders two of them vanity mirrors with lights on both sides being a crew cab, obviously you have tons of room, tons of leg room for a full crew of workers or just your family. I'm six foot two, so you can see here me sitting behind the driving position that I currently had in the front seat. Plenty of room here. The seat easily folds up. space and cubbies storage space underneath the second row seats here very nice seats they're very comfortable love this leather interior you have to fight it a little more regarding being clean but it is nice looking I have to say that and let's jump outside again guys as always thank you so much for stopping by I appreciate everyone that watches my videos uh, on a weekly basis let me know what you uh, thought of this review here of the 2016 Ford F-250 power stroke diesel in the uh, Lariat trim level I'm sure there were a couple things that I missed there's a lot to cover on a big truck like this but you know I always try to keep the videos kind of short so just let me know what you think and remember to hit that subscribe button so you can get future reviews like this until next time, bye-bye.